And I was miserable to be around for about a year. <laughs> we need to talk Paul Rudd because he's everyone's favorite time traveling actor and just the nicest guy. I knew I was going to have to be held accountable, so that made it a little easier. I mean, how can he look like this in Clueless and then 30 years later look like this? What's going on? Maybe he does actually have movie star genetics. No chicken, broccoli and brown rice. Nothing suspicious. Just great genetics. Oh, that sucks. I feel awful on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Greatly. When we first met, I looked younger. And now I think I've surpassed. I could be his father. <laughs> so for Marvel's Ant-Man series, he went from this to this. Oh, he leveled up. Yeah, I basically made health and fitness the focus of my day. For a long time, I would work out with a trainer. I worked with a uh, guy that was teaching me kind of tumbling and how to do flips and things like that. The thing that I hated the most were pull-ups. Did a lot of pull-ups. It's painful, I don't like them. By the way, I'm in the suit the whole movie, so why I did this, it was stupid. I didn't need to be doing this. So let's take a look at Paul Rudd's Ant-Man workout and diet to see how hard it was and if it stung. I didn't do anything fun for a year. <laughs> Like I ate no carbs or sugar. I was eating protein and vegetables, and uh, and I was eating at very specific times of the day. I didn't drink any alcohol. And Paul Rudd was always on the lookout to make sure if he was going to cheat, no one could see him. There'd be absolutely no evidence whatsoever. So on set for Marvel's Ant-Man, he would sneak away somewhere private, lock himself in a room, make sure his personal trainer couldn't see him, and he would indulge in a cold glass of sparkling water. Oh, he was deep in a calorie deficit. It hits different. It's a weird thing. I found that like when I'm eating perfectly, like really perfectly in training, which I'm pretty good at doing when I'm doing these movies, I really get a craving for chocolate. And so at the end of the day, on occasion, I would take a little dark chocolate and that would kind of hold me over until the next night when I could have one more little square of dark chocolate. The other thing is truly a pint of Guinness is the thing. Stick to the plan and be very disciplined. And I was miserable to be around for about a year. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul Rudd got really down on himself. By the way, Paul Rudd's transformation was awesome. Did he look like Thor? No. Do you look like Thor? No. Could you look like Thor? No, because the Thor transformation is suspicious. And I think Paul Rudd knew this intuitively because Paul Rudd looked at himself with his workout and diet locked in, looked at Chris Hemsworth and thought, What's the difference? What's he doing that I'm not? I enjoyed having the focus. I'd never done anything like that before to that extreme. And having the majority of my day built around that instead of making fitness something that I tried to work in on the side while I went about my day was really kind of great. I woke up very early in the morning. I felt really good. I had lots of energy and uh, it helped me also just get into the mindset of this character. I, I figured if I'm if I'm in really good shape, I will feel like less of an imposter in the, in the role. You know the worst bit for Paul Rudd? Oh man, this hurts. Paul Rudd did the extreme workout, he did the extreme diet, and he was on set, on the Ant-Man set. He took his top off, oh, he was ripped. They filmed the whole thing, they yelled, cut. It's a wrap, it's in the can, and they cut it from the movie. Are you serious? You put in so much work that yes. to get to a place where it's like, okay, I think I could actually do a shirtless scene because then it's in the movie, so you have to do it and you film it. If it gets cut because you want to make the film shorter and make the thing just work better, I totally understand. And there's also the side of me that likes the fact that I'm not in a shirtless scene in a movie because it just goes against right. my very nature of, I would feel way yeah. too self-conscious regardless of anything. And then I see, and then I see Jonathan Majors, and I'm like, well, you know what? Thank God they cut those scenes. That was the first one I had one, but in the second one I did another one, and I was even, I even, you know, really worked hard for that because I never stopped working out. Yeah. But the scene got cut. Talking about Paul Rudd's body transformation, I've got two quotes, and these two quotes sum up quite nicely. The moment Paul Rudd thought, "Why does Chris Hemsworth and Chris Evans look so jacked, and I don't?" Yeah, the penny dropped. Yes. I'm playing a superhero. Apart from just like the that shot or anything, you gotta feel the part. For my own edification, for my own ability, my own understanding, it's a great motivator for getting to the gym. Paul Rudd said, but I also think I worked out harder than anyone. I would eat better than everyone, and I looked worse than all of them. I had to work out all the time, eat perfectly, just to look kind of bad. Not even like great. And look, even if you look like that, even if you smash your body transformation, if you are in a Marvel movie, you don't want to stand anywhere near Chris Hemsworth. You see Chris Hemsworth and you just start backing up. I don't know which is worse, but it's why I keep everyone at arm's length. 
Talking about being on set with Chris Hemsworth, Paul Rudd said, I remember on Endgame, Chris Hemsworth would always have these Tupperware containers and he's eating this gruel of just a mash of stuff. He's working out and then you stand next to a guy like that and I just think, well, what's the point of any of this? Why am I killing myself when that can exist? And then I look at myself and this exists. I can never achieve that. That was the good thing that it was Ant-Man. It isn't Thor. But I tried to work out and it didn't work. Hey, Paul, it worked, dude, it worked. Let's talk Paul Rudd's Ant-Man diet. His trainer said this was about making a lifestyle for Paul, so he didn't want to do anything too extreme with his diet. The focus was on cutting down on bad carbs whilst adding plenty of protein and good fats. So a sample Ant-Man meal plan. Ant-Man meal plan, I like that. Looks like this. For breakfast, it was three eggs, oatmeal and coffee. A snack would be a protein shake with a handful of almonds. Don't go crazy. Lunch was salad with six ounces of protein and four ounces of sweet potato or rice, incorporating the carb source every Every other day, another snack, more protein shakes and a handful of walnuts. And dinner was eight ounces of protein with as much veg as you want. And maybe, just maybe, if you want to go mad, some sparkling water. He loves the bubbles. I had to work out like crazy, eat a lot of fish all the time. Salmon, salmon, actually, salmon works really well. Really? With my, uh, with me. Uh -huh. I ate perfectly for eight years. So what's your thoughts on Paul Rudd's body transformation for Ant-Man from this to this? I'm saying 100% Natty, but it was a Marvel movie, so you never know. Hit me up in the comments, Natty or not, and subscribe, comment, and like for more content. Oh, and you better get tapping, because there's a whole bunch more videos on the screen ready to go right now. Get involved.